Well, uh, good afternoon. And this afternoon we almost at 2 hours dam already, and that's why we're saying hello from the vehicle while moving. Once it gets a little bit early, actually, see if these lionesses are still around from this morning. But it's always a hundred things to do, and we left a few minutes later than we hoped. But um, by the time I take two more turns, we'll be at the water hole. I'm going to stop and say good afternoon properly. And then we'll also look around and see if the lions are anywhere. Well, this is Triaz Dam. Lioness is yet. Maybe uh, in the next five or ten minutes we'll have a look around. There's probably about a 90% chance that they should still be here from this morning. Just again, hello, welcome to Wild Earth. Welcome, Ajuma. Alex is behind the camera. In the live control center this afternoon is Jan, and um, my name is Peter. Looking forward to today. This is where it was quite a spectacular morning this morning. Alex and Marco found, well, um, joined the guys on those two lionesses, and then had an absolutely spectacular sighting. Um, and uh, so I was sitting on the edge of my seat back in the live control center. So uh, we might see them again, we might not, but I will continue that memory for this morning and have a look around here. Very pleasant afternoon as well. Basically, sort of like exactly like baby bear's porridge. Not too hot, not too cold. Ah, and there's the lion. Can you see it, Alex? Good spotting. Remember what we spoke about the other day. Your eyes getting more used to looking at shapes. Very, very good spotting. We're of course going to go closer just now. Just going to quickly see what the game drives are up to. Afternoon stations. Um, started at two hours down this afternoon. Just got the Mufaz and Gala. They just lala by the damn wall. Uh, is anyone responding? Yeah, Bida, I'm on my way. I'm on quarantine. Heading that side. Okay, cool, Henry. Uh, you know, if any other movers are coming, I'll pull out as soon as they get here. Uh, what is F from doing for? Yeah, I'm coming. I will let you know. Thank you. Okay, shop. You're on the damn wall on the southern side by that little knob there. Alright, well let's go closer. Yeah, I'm sure let the viewers know that there's some uh, experience when you speak on the radio, the uh, inside the camera, it's not me moving the camera, but it's something happening, I don't know. Uh, you want to know you At least we battle it tomorrow, will you remind me? It's probably just one of these wires somewhere. All right, <laughs> look at that. And that is a classic lazy lion image. I don't even go too close yet. She looks like a bear actually lying like that. Try and get a little bit closer just now. Actually, another thing I wanted to, to do today, and there just wasn't time for it, but I still want to chat to some of the guys that see these lines more often. They're more sort of to the south and to the west of where, where we operate. So it's, if I remember correctly, I, I think this is my first time seeing them. I've heard the Chalalas before. They quite often the guys that are at Tuza and, and further south see them as well. So new lines for me. In the early days, my memory sometimes doesn't stretch that far. And, um, Beautiful lionesses, just from seeing them this morning. Really, really stunning lionesses, big. Just like the, the whole sort of attitude they had towards their surroundings. Yeah, one more is just, by room three just the way they they sort of looked at buffalo with disdain, but, but also not worrying about showing any interest in hunting them. The buffalo gave them a good look back. And then as soon as they noticed some zebra, it changed change in attitude. And the whole behavior was very much... We hunters. I like that a lot about them. What I also want to do, I want to get a bit closer. Like I said, unfortunately I didn't get a history on them from the But so that one lioness, and I think it's the same one, the morning just looked 
basically the mammary glands or the, the nipples itself looked a little bit swollen, almost looked like they might have been suckled already. Now, this is where it becomes interesting. Look at this lurie, Alex. Oh, it's flying. Let's have a look at that lioness again. You see the other one? The other one is behind us somewhere, I think. Oh, it's on the lure now. Oh, sorry. Oh, you're back in the... <laughs> I just saw it fly off and then I was looking through binos, Alex. Two hey, lures. Now you're on the line, yes. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't have to say sorry. This is, this is a happy place. So as I was saying, it's, it's sort of partly a personal choice as well. I, I, I sort of try and discover these animals as we see them. In other words, Obviously, a phone call or two, and we'd know exactly the status of these lionesses. Some of you might even know from the di from the diaries you follow from other lodges. But I like the sort of the discovery process of seeing new animals. And this lioness is actually the way she's lying. They look at that, I like that a lot. And those mammary glands or the, the, the nipples themselves definitely look like they've been suckled to me. So it makes you wonder if there's maybe some some little lions out there, and that would of course be related to the mapojos. Any lions born in this area around this time, especially a little bit further south, they would all kill the Mapojo's daddy. Big daddy, maybe. We can go a bit closer also, this is again, I'm not going to obviously be rude to them at all. But so far, she's not shown any interest whatsoever. That one lioness earlier, the way we saw her ears in the bush, she looked a little bit over maybe when I was standing outside to, um, to say hello. The point I'm making is that they seem very comfortable with vehicles. And obviously also, being from the south, they would be quite familiar with, with game drive vehicles. Okay, what we're going to do for now is just move a bit.